So now on this butt joint, and they work the same way as well, a lot of them do. I, I cut the tape to the distance between here and here. When you tape into a tapered joint like that, it's okay if the tape should overlap. Again, because you've got three or four layers going back on top of this and it hides all that. So I'll go ahead and pull this through. Okay, and this is another time that you want to put this at the top and to go end for end and change your hands. Same thing, center it on the joint, walk it down with your fingers, control the application, go back to the top, and squeeze out that extra, take another cleanup pass, and you're done with that. Now on this vertical joint, this butt joint right here, we're gonna start from the bottom when we apply the pressure to the tape and work up. Now, if you start to run out of compound, you wanna have the tape being coated by about this much of the compound. So if you're running out in the bucket, go ahead and replenish your bucket because you have to make sure that the bottom surface is being coated. So we pull this through. Well, see there's enough on there that I can, but right after this, I'm gonna put some more in the bucket here. And I wanna start this one from the bottom and center it on both of those joints and walk it up. About every five to eight pieces of tape that you run through, sometimes the teeth will build up. And if it's a hot summer day, it'll start to dry out on you and fill the teeth in. Submerge it into your cleanup water. Shake it around a little bit. Take your toothbrush if you need it, but just by doing that, as you can see, it's cleaned the teeth out. And that'll allow you to go back to work right now.